Hi folks, this is Eric. Welcome back to another Eric Hepperly Designs tutorial. This is video three of the screen scraping tutorial that I'm making. Now, the purpose of this series is to demonstrate, one, how I come up with code and, and troubleshoot and stuff for any um, potential employers who may be watching these videos, but also to the, the main thing we're trying to create with this application, with this uh, s snippet, is a way to grab the information of what plugins are installed on a given website. And for me, I use WordPress a lot, and I'll see other WordPress websites. And there's different, um, let's say Google Chrome. I've got some Google Chrome plugins that are that purport to do that already, but they don't always grab everything. So I'm trying to find a good way that I can just post some code in real quick. You know, eventually I would make my own library or plugin, but right now we're just making functional code. Okay, so when we last left off, we're looping through each one of the tags that we grabbed with our advanced selector. Now, one thing that I've done since the last video is I've taken, I've refactored, I've taken um, our advanced selector and put it up here as the value of the tag cell property. And then down here, I'm calling the tag cell property of the selector's object. Cool. And just so you can see, that all works. I'll copy it in to our test site. Okay, so Control V, pop it in. Boom, so now we got all our links. Now what we wanna do, let's say, let's just get the source tags from those. So I'll type in source, copy, paste, boom. Now I've got all my sources. Okay. And let's say, let's just get the ones that, uh, we definitely want to get the ones that are under this main WordPress uh, area in the, in the themes section. So let's say, WordPress content, WordPress includes. Let's say we want the ones that are in the plugin section. No. Yes. So what I'll do is I'll come up here. Now let's come out, I'll duplicate this. It's uh, Control D to duplicate, Control L to delete a line uh, in Notepad++. And then I'll go ahead and Control Q to comment that one out so that I still can see what that was. But I'll modify this. Anything that starts with HTTPS colon slash slash. Well, actually, in this case, we can... We can probably just do the Geneva County News. Now this is one way to do it. So let's see what we get. Boom, so now I've only got the tags that have Geneva County News in the source. And let's see, will it take a slash? Let's do slash. WP, anything that's a WordPress folder. Let's try that. Whoop. Undefined, so that didn't work. Let's try backslashing it. That did not. That did not work. Let's try flipping these around. What if I put those in there and make these ones? Oh, that's not it. There we go. We'll do this. And then control A to copy it, paste it in. What? 
wonder what visual viewport is. Okay, so that's not working. So fine, we'll leave that alone for now. We'll just leave that at uh, we'll just leave it at HTTPS. Let's just make it HTTP. Double check that it still works. No syntax errors. Good. So now what we're going to do is for each one of these, we're going to do a split and grab what we need. Okay. So let's make let's make a section. So we'll say bar. Now I already worked on this a little bit. So I'm actually going to copy what I did before to make the video go faster, paste it in and explain it to you. Okay. So we're getting the tag source, and then for each result, see I created a results uh, array to hold an array of objects. So each um, tag, each script, or each, uh, yeah, each script tag, I'm gonna give it its own object in an array of objects, and the array is called results. So here, for result, you know, the first one is gonna be result zero, um, I assign it as a blank object, as an empty object. Then the next one, I assign the source URL property of that object, of the current object, as the tag.source value. And so you see, we are printing out console.log results, copy and paste, boom. So now I have to hit enter, otherwise I'll end up accidentally, well that's not working, is it? Enter, enter, no, that's not doing anything. Uh, what's, maybe I can move this to the side, maybe that'll be better. That's not it. Here we go. Let me move that over there. There we go. Now I don't have to worry about interfering with the recorder for the video. Okay, and you can see everything. So if I go right here, you can see that I've created an array of objects. Each object in the array has a source URL property. Boom. And I can loop through and get all the information I need. So now, what we're going to do next Well, let's see. Let's call that uh, creating an array of objects. 